Pixel extended latest version is out of course based on Android 12.1 and the new version is what we have installed right now. Some of the changes, some features which we have available in Pixel extended I'm going to talk about in this video so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. The version which we are talking about here is the extended version 4.7 and yes it's based on Android 12.1. The device which I'm using right now is Mi 11X, but it does not matter. Available for most of the devices and all the supported devices links in the description. Some of the few of the customizations which include the snow house, status bar, lock screen and a lot more. We have all these customizations available. Pixel Extended has some few of the customizations available for you. For example, if you want to customize the quick settings columns, columns customizations you have. We have the option for a lot of things for example clock we also have lot lock screen customizations the hardware buttons basically all these customizations are present here for you whichever you feel comfortable with you can use that option the change which we have here is in the app lock first of all app lock has been added in this version so if you're a user who love to use app lock on their devices that option is available here for you you can use this app locker to lock your device apps even the pre-installed apps might be locked and some of the third-party apps too so inbuilt app locker is something really good which you were looking for it's already present in this version you also have auto lock timeout if you want to use that thing this is about the app lock which is included in this version and yes face lock fingerprint lock was already present so i'm not going to talk about that app lock is now included in this latest version including this we have a lot of lot more extra things available in this version which also includes some customizations to quick settings panel quick settings panel have the blur feature if you're able to notice you can customize this blur or basically transparency according to your own preference how you can change that it's quite easy by the way you have the option to change the amount of blur or transparency you need on here this quick settings panel for example i have chosen the number nine version which i found quite useful you can only use one two three four whichever you want to choose you can use that including this quick setting transparency option which is now included in this version we also found some of the extra things with the quick settings vertical layout and the layout customizations with columns and etc you have the option to customize the vertical layout you have the option for quick setting columns for example if i enable this option as you can see this is how it is looking like let me just hide the titles once just to show you as you can see if you hide the titles and customize the columns you'll see this maybe mini android 11 style quick settings panel of course without root and without doing any major things so maybe a good thing for you for the users who don't want to use the android 12 style quick settings panel on their devices you also have the option for vertical layout so that you will be able to use those you'll be able to see the text of these tiles at a vertical shape Moving on to some status bar customizations, we have the colored icons options available here for you too. Colored icons which means use, use proper app icons for notification icons in status bar which is sometimes kinda useful for some of the ones if they want to customize this thing. It's not a feature by the way, it's just for customization purpose. Moving on to some lock screen things, media cover art as expected is already there and the lock screen charging info where you'll be see you'll be able to see the charging current voltage watt and battery temperature on lock screen while charging and for me this is one of the most useful features and for most of the users it's definitely this also includes some custom monitor theming options for you for example if you want to use the custom monitor theming if you want to customize the fonts all these options are already here in the terms of customizations there are many options available it also includes the new game space which is not from pixel by the way in call vibration options are also present if you want to use those things you can you have the option to customize the navigation bar too in hardware options where you will be able to use the playback control option you have the option for fingerprint customizations and some few of the options related power menu and these are the things which you have in this latest pixel pixel extended custom room which is now available with the version 4.7 in the upcoming days you'll be able to use the latest version which might be based on august security patch but not right now we also have some few of the things with this sound and vibration where you will you'll be able to 
disable the screenshot sound which is uh, in my opinion it's quite helpful i want to take screenshots without that sound so that option is available here for me other than else yes it's a pixel room or basically you can say i yet another pixel room but with few of the customizations and few of the features and yes if you want to install this thing link is available in the description this is all from today's short and simple video if you like this video don't forget to like and share this as i will see you in the next video until then goodbye